Hi, everybody. Welcome to Oil Country, Edmonton, Alberta. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Ray, listen to the energy in the arena here tonight. They know it's critical. The players know it's critical. What's the message here? Oh, there's really nothing that can't be said that isn't so obvious. Hey, series is tied. We got a chance to take the lead. Play our best game. Be as aggressive as you can. Both teams lined up in the middle. We are ready to get things underway. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Kane's got it in the offensive zone. And that's picked off. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. Lots of time left in this period. Still looking for our first goal. And a good read to get possession there with the two centermen tangled up. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. Moves it on over to Nugent Hopkins. Edmonton's got the puck against the half wall. And now it's grabbed by Puyo Yarby. Pucks it away in his own end. San Jose's got a hold of it along the wall. Made the stop on the play. Nice job tying up his opponent. The Sharks will play it in their own end. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. And now he moves it to Hurdle. And he comes up with it. San Jose's won the faceoff. Back at the point, he set it up. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. San Jose's at the line. Here's a short pass to Couture. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Takes the feed. Oh, what a stop! Quick shot! Wow. He scores! Logan Couture delivers! The good thing he one times his puck. The goalie almost gets there, but the pass is on his tape in the low slot, and he beats him clean. The Sharks were preaching good start before this one, and they've done that so far. What a great start for them. They get aggressively after it in the first five minutes of this period, and they're rewarded with a goal. Moves it quickly over to Carlson. On the attack along the boards. Moves it to Couture. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Oh, what a stop by Koskinen. I had a playoff run like this. When you score in the playoffs, you feel like you can score every night. Lots of time left in this period. The Sharks lead it 1-0. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. The Oilers move it ahead. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. There's the whistle penalty coming up. The Sharks are going to be short-handed because of a tripping call. Once he puts up his little token argument here, he's going to circle around a bit and try and regroup here as he goes to the penalty box. Were you box. a haggler? Always. You never think it's the right call. Both teams lining up for the face-off, and it's a chance to see if there's actually some power in this power play. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Well, you hope they're ready for this opportunity, James, as it shows up as they're trailing by one. Now they get a man advantage and a chance to tie this game up. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Takes the feed. Here's a chance on the doorstep. He scores on the power play. Taking advantage of the extra man. Move the puck well and get on the board.
shooter's able to corral that saucer pass, and then he beats the goaltender. One possession. Gains the zone through center. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. The Sharks gain possession along the wall. Scrum ensues along the boards. The Oilers look to start the transition game. Works it across to Pugliarvi. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. And we've got a two-on-one. Here he is in close. Off the crossbar. My goodness, what a shot. Still lots of time left here in this frame. It's all tied up. The Sharks win the draw. Ferraro's taking the puck now here inside his own territory. Fires it into the offensive zone. The Oilers will play the puck from behind the net. Intercepts the pass. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Across the line from center. The Oilers played along the boards. And that's blocked. Moved into the middle. Denies him. He got all of it. The centermen glide into position. Edmonton's won the draw and they'll go to work. Tremendous use of the body on the play. What a steal in his own end. And now he angles it across to Sorensen. Gains the zone through the middle. Centering pass. And they come up empty handed. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Wow, did that sound like it hurts. You crash somebody against the boards like that, and there is nowhere to go. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Edmonton's playing it through the neutral zone. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. San Jose's got the puck in the defensive end. Quick pass to Marlowe. Moves the puck along the half wall. And he breaks up the opportunity in front with a poke check. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Quick pass across to Dreisaitl. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. San Jose's got the puck along the wall. Tries to feed it over to Couture. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. San Jose's on the attack, and he loses control of the puck. Sends a pass over. Quick feed to Vlasic. Puck moved over to Sorensen. Nice pass. The Sharks take it along the wall. Here he is in front. Turns it away. Edmonton's got control of the puck. Slides it on over to Neal. San Jose's got it in their own zone. Picked up along the boards by Vlasic. Couldn't find the intended target. Drives it to the crease. Made the stop on the play. Takes it across the blue line. And he regains control of the puck. San Jose's looking to break out of their own end. Moves it over to Nieto. Hangs onto the puck. Play rolls on. And they can't connect. Feeds the puck to Cassian. Quick pass to Larson. It's a two-on-one. And that one stopped. Here he is on the backhand. Scores! Well, they're calling it off. They're waving it off immediately. Pretty sure on the ice. Those officials didn't take any time 
before they wave this one down. That's a pretty grumpy player right there. He scored, but he can see that it's waved off right away. Yeah, and any sort of protest seem to be falling on deaf ears, too. Goalies always complain. No change in the score as that goal was waved off, and we are ready to drop the puck again. Karras won the draw here in the open ice. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. Oh, a clutch save. And another stop. Really sharp. Never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. Grabbed along the board by Shimmick. Here's a chance. Jabs the puck away. Manages to hang on. Centering pass. Cuts into the paint. Fantastic save. They're wearing down the other team's defense with this cycle in the offensive zone. Can't connect. Nurse has got it in the defensive end. Pucks the puck away. Quick feed to Nugent Hopkins. From center, they get into the attacking area. Slides the puck down low. Edmonton's got it along the wall. Good hit on the play. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Hurdle. Smart defensive play there. And he's ridden off the puck. Sends the pass over. Handles the puck from the left side. Taken by Puglia Yarby. Made the stop on that play. this up again and get another look at this stop the goalie makes. He makes a solid save on a really dangerous chance. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. We got a tie game. Back underway and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Strong defensive effort. Puck scooped up by Jones. And now it's over to Ennis. Moves the puck to the attacking area. Shot, and he makes the save. Slides the puck over. We'll get a face-off, and some lucky fan gets a memory of a lifetime. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. The draw and a nice job locking up his opponent. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Meyer's point streak has been a thing to behold. You start to get superstitious on a run. You do everything the same, you wear the same suit all the time. The Sharks take possession off the faceoff. Here's a short pass to Donato. Handles the puck. And he takes a shot. And that one's turned away. Dreisaitl's won a big draw on their own end. Takes the pass. They've got numbers. To his teammate! A simple stop with the glove by Dubnik. San Jose's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Moves the puck. The Sharks looking against the half wall. Takes a shot. Can't get it to go. The Sharks scoop it up along the boards. Feeds it on over to Couture. The Oilers take possession in the defensive end. Receives the pass. Good use of the body to knock them off the puck. Passes on over to Meyer. Off the left wing and into center. Offside the call and we'll have a face off just outside the blue line. 
here in the late goings of the period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. San Jose's got control of it now from their own end. And they'll dump it in. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. Looking for space inside the D zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Nugent Hopkins. The Oilers take it across the blue line. Puck grabbed by Middleton. Moves it quickly over to Nieto. Takes the feed. Stopped by the goaltender. And now he moves it quickly to Ferrara. Takes the feed. Reaches out and pokes it away. Excellent stick work on the play. Hard blast. Misses. Probably better off to take a little off the shot and get it on target. He's nowhere near the net. Moves it to Nieto. Sends a pass over. Takes a shot. Oh, what a stop by Koskinen. Carries it across the line. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Gobbles the puck up there with the chest. And the referee has blown his whistle, bringing a stop to the play. Koskinen's able to make the save, as we see here. This is a good scoring chance, but he's in good position. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Torres has won the draw. Fires it. Denies him with the save. The Sharks get a hold of the puck along the boards. San Jose is looking to break out of their own end. Here they come up along the wing. Nice pass. Here's a shot. Blocker save. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Denies him again. Denies him. Really good stop. After he made the first one, he's got to find the puck, and he's in position again. The Sharks have it against the wall. With some open space at center. Here they are on the attack. Snaps one from the slot. And a strong effort on that play. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Keeps hold of the puck. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Let's see what the officials say. The Sharks are going to be short-handed as they are called for tripping. Fishing around for the puck. He gets his stick into the player's feet. And this becomes an easy call. The Oilers send their man advantage unit out once more. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Snaps one on net. Nice save by the keeper to trap that puck in his chest. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Penalty coming up. And play comes to an end as someone is heading to the sin bin. Tough to complain about this call holding. As soon as you slip out of position, you've got two choices. Let him go or try and slow him down. He reached out and grabbed him and gets called. And on the heels of that call, we get ourselves a little four-on-four -on, -four on the ice. And the puck leaves the offensive zone. They'll be forced to tag up. 20 minutes in the books and a pretty fun 20 minutes at that. Hey, fans, great tickets are still available to our next home game. Please visit the box office and get the And while both teams get a refresher... We'll take one ourselves heading into the second period.
Along with Ray Ferraro between the benches, I'm James Sabolski. Period number two is about to get underway. Been a fun one so far. Neither side giving an inch. Still tied here as we open things up in the second. Turn that one aside. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Scooped up along the wall by Shimmick. Jostling for the puck, and it's knocked away. That pass goes a little sideways. Quick pass to McDavid. Fires it on net. Completely misses on the play. You don't even make the goalie work here. You've got to make him have to do something in the net. Not able to connect. The Sharks going to work on offense. Sends the pass over. Taken along the wall by Nurse. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Slides the puck over. Burns is tripped up, and we've got a penalty coming up. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. So often in a, in a shifty little play, the, you're trying to get to the puck, you get your stick in the wrong spot, he steps on your stick, and there's nothing you can do. San Jose's got a chance to open it up on this four-on-three. Quick puck movement is the key on four-on-three. I guess it is on a regular power play, too. But with just three defenders, you want to try and pull them out of position. Then you're going to end up with an open shot. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Looking to set up offensively. Big play inside the defensive zone. Right in the slot, and they can't connect. Gets it out of his own end. Skaters go off for a line change here on this power play. I'd like to see him be a little bit more direct on the entry into the zone. They haven't got set up, and as a result, they don't really have a shot yet on this power play. Denies him in close. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Pins him against the boards as they battle for the loose puck. Time to execute here on this power play. Through center along the wing. And the puck escapes the zone, and they'll be forced to tag up. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. San Jose's power play expires. Both sides back to even strength here, and we are still tied. Really good pressure by the penalty killers there to keep this game tied. They tie up the power play in pretty nice fashion there. The Oilers move the puck in the defensive zone. Feeds it over to Cahoon. Quick feed to Yamamoto. And now he tries to get it across to Nurse. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Pokes the puck away. Cutting to the slot. Scores, and they go up by one. Tied no more. That's a big goal to be able to take the lead. That's a good play. It's a goal scorer's play. You shoot the puck and follow your shot. He gets a little lucky that it comes right back to him, but he makes no mistake. The Sharks take a one-goal lead here in this second period. Solid to break the tie there, and now they've got a chance to run this period out from in front. The Oilers get a hold of the puck off the draw. Grabs it at his own end. The Oilers have it in the offensive end. Quick feed down low. Here's a short pass to Dreisaitl. Great positioning in the defensive end. The Oilers take possession in the neutral zone. Here he is, shot right in front. And that one's broken up. Great block there. San Jose's looking to break out. Handles the puck. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Edmonton's across the blue line. The Oilers have it now. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. The Sharks carry it along the wall. Nice poke check. Makes the save. Moves it quickly over to Nieto. And he slides it quickly to Shimmick. Here he is in front. Scores! There's another one that's two goals in just under two minutes. That sure changes things here on the ice. Yeah, the game has completely been turned upside down.
It's really good work offensively as they grind away till that opening shows up. And that's the one-timer from the low slot. The Sharks have now jumped out to a two-goal lead here in the second, and it's pretty much a result of the way they played here tonight, Ray. They, it is, James. They've done a nice job. They've controlled the play. They've had the pace of the game in their favor, had the majority of shots on goal, and they've been rewarded. Oh, what a save by Koskinen! He's really enjoying the spotlight of being one of the league leaders in goals. You take more responsibility. You have to produce, and he seems to embrace it all. The Sharks continue to lead in the second. They have been the busier team in the shot department, and as a result, they lead. Offense is on face-off, and he wins the draw. The Sharks working around near the back end. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Takes the pass. Pass across to Nurse. Gets it over to Pugliarvi. Moves it to Nugent Hopkins. Moves right to the middle. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Nurse. San Jose's gained possession along the boards. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Now a quick pass to Hurdle. Quick pass to Kane. And a poke check knocks the puck away. And he can't hang on after that hit. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Through center. Moves the puck across to McDavid. Lets it fly. Blocked in traffic. Picked up along the boards by Carlson. Gaining momentum up along the side. San Jose's got a hold of it against the wall. The Oilers have a hold of it in the defensive zone. With possession along the wall. Grabbed along the board by Carlson. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. And he moves it up to Turris. Stays with it. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Here he is, wrists it on net. Stick save. Denies him. Stop one, stop two. The goalie makes a couple of excellent saves. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. The Sharks are up 3-1. San Jose's got a hold of the puck. Scrum along the boards. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. And he gets a paddle on that one. Dubnik's been sharp when he's had to be. He's got a good save percentage here tonight. And his team's in good shape. They've got the defense outnumbered from point blank range. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Pokes it away in his own end. The Sharks scoop it up along the boards. San Jose's ready to go on the attack. Let's the wrister fly. Great save from in tight. Smothered that in close chance. Koskinen's in great position here to make this stop. Nice work by the goaltender. Past the midway mark in this period, the Sharks have been getting solid offensive contributions, leading 3-1. That's a smart read with the two centermen tied up. Yamamoto's picking up steam. Picks off the pass. San Jose's got a hold of the puck. Great positioning by the defender. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. From the point, they take control of it. And that's broken up. Dry Seidel's moving it ahead. Here's an odd man rush. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Couture's got it along the boards. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Jostling for the puck and he loses control. Receives the pass. Couture's carrying it ahead. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Takes a wrist shot, gives, and he rings the post! Edmonton's fired a couple of three shots off the goal post tonight. Seems like it's happening all the time. They can't get a bounce. Pick 
Picked up along the wall by Burns. Takes it and looks ahead. The Sharks play it along the wing. The Oilers have it against the wall. Slides it diagonally to Turris. Here's a chance. Comes up with the stop. Dubnik's the last line of defense, and he has to come up big for his team again. The two-on-one yields a really good chance, but a better stop. The Sharks are checking all the boxes tonight. More shots, more goals, and a lead in the second. Turris has won the faceoff. Stones him in front, lifts the stick, and takes the puck. Aaron pass, and the play's broken up. Can't catch up to the pass. From the left side, they gain the zone. Takes it to the front. Gets the puck over to Turris. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Chance in front. Denies up with the blocker. What a stop by Dubnik. Aggressive stop out on top of the crease to make the save on a dangerous chance. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Trying to get back on the attack now. Maintains possession. The Oilers have it in the offensive zone. Denies him on the play. Pugliarvi's caught with the hook and the official saw it. And let's see what the call is. Carlson's going off for hooking. Well, when you stop your feet, you're almost advertising to the official to keep looking. There's the hook. Another chance here on the man advantage. I like the way that their plan has been successful, and it's pretty obvious they're going to stay with that same mode. Turris wins it in the offensive zone, and that slides right out to center ice. Scoops up the puck behind the net. Takes the feed. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Puts it on net and makes the save. Just here in the late stages of this frame, it's a 3-1 hockey game. Lots of offense already. Edmonton's got it in the offensive zone. Stops him with a glove. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Stick save! No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. Let's get another look at this defensive play here. He knows they're in scramble mode, and he lays down to block the shot. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Edmonton's won the draw. Steps in with the block. Referee's got his hand up, signaling a delayed penalty. And play is finally halted here. Let's see what the call is. Nugent Hopkins has been called for holding. As soon as you fall behind, which I guess is probably the reason for most penalties, you're in desperation mode. He grabs onto him and he'll go to the box for a couple. A little four-on-four -four hockey as both teams step inside the face-off circle. Well, the face-off, of course, is pretty critical. You're not going to have as many scrums four-on-four, four, so if you get the puck first, you're going to get it and hold it. Takes the feed. Burns has got it along the wall. The Oilers gain possession along the wall and pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Quick feed to Larson. The Sharks take possession in the defensive end. And as he steps back out onto the ice, they'll go to work with the man advantage here. Sends it out right in front. Here's a chance. Denies him in front. Right from the most dangerous area on the ice. The goalie flashes the glove. That's an arrogant stop. Here in the late going of the frame, San Jose's got a 3-1 lead. Edmonton's got possession here in their own end. Gets the puck in deep. 
San Jose has gained possession along the boards. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. Goes right to the crease. Stopped by the goaltender. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Pushes it across to Nurse. The Oilers are in transition. Sends it in on the attack. San Jose's got the puck along the boards. Both teams are now back to even strength as the power play has expired. You're always angry when you don't score on the power play. But 80% of the time, you don't. Yet it becomes really frustrating when you let one slip away. San Jose's got the puck here in the open ice. Second frame almost done. Well inside a minute now. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Takes a shot and makes a save. Now I wanted another look at this one. I'm sure you guys were all impressed as I was. What a save by the goalie. The setters will glide into the dot. The Oilers will go to work here in the offensive zone. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Angles it over to Nosen. Couldn't complete the play. Feeds the puck across to Yamamoto. Fires it into the offensive zone. Moves the puck. Still too close to call in this one as the second period comes to an end. Do you know someone in your community who goes the extra mile to help out? Nominations for our team player awards are available in the concourse in the lower seating level. Don't go anywhere. Third period is just around the corner. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Third period action. Ready to go. Moment of truth for one team. Here we go. Third period is underway. Ray Ferraro is back down at ice level. Ray, 40 minutes played so far. What's been your assessment of this tilt? Edmonton's been a step slow almost all game. They haven't had the puck very much. They're losing. If that's going to change, they've got to get the puck and hold on to it much more along the wing and loses possession after a solid hit takes the feed from the wing and now he moves it to hurdle the Oilers take over on possession slides the puck to Kane couldn't connect on that pass slides the puck across to Bear puts it on net and there's the save Dubnik's read the situation, and he's just going to let it breathe here, Ray. Well, every once in a while, the goalie will get a sense that the guys are starting to run around. He's been on top of it tonight. Been an excellent game. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Been a pretty good offensive display, at least for one side. 3-1 is where we sit. And now he angles it across to Meyer. The Sharks are on the attack. Great defensive effort with the stick. Gets in front of it. Puck picked up by Jones. Passes it to Cahoon. Moves it around along the half wall. Here he is from the slot. Scores! The pinball tight goal. That would be a perfectly placed shot. It hits the inside of the goal post and into the net. Well, not quick enough or not in the right position. In any case, the goalie gets just a little piece of the shot and it's in the net.
Edmonton's third period deficit suddenly doesn't seem so insurmountable now. You can almost see the difference in the bench and the body language. They know they've got a chance. San Jose's won the draw in the neutral zone. Here's a short pass to Meyer. There's the whistle. Offside is the call, stopping the play. The centermen glide into position. Edmonton's won it. And now it's grabbed by Barry. Feeds the puck over to Jones. Ennis brings it in. The Sharks get a hold of the puck in the open ice. From the right side and up the middle. Taken by Turris. With the stop. San Jose's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Nice zone entry on the left side. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Scooped up along the wall by Meyer. Edmonton's looking to break out of their own end. Moves it quickly over to Jones. Here they come inside the neutral zone. San Jose's got the puck along the wall. They've got numbers. The Oilers have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Breaking through center, they go on the attack. Nice puck check inside the attacking zone. And they fail to go take to take. Edmonton's got it now. Takes a shot. Oh, denies him with the save. I think he got the blocker on it. Carlson's caught up with the hook, and the official saw it. Moves it to Meyer. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Makes the move in close. Turn that chance aside. Here comes the call from the official. The good old-fashioned hook has sent him off to the box. He's almost in the right position, but he's got to give him a little hook. When he gives that tug, he goes to the penalty box and gets called every time. The Sharks once again send out their power play unit. When you don't get many power plays, you really have to make them count. One goal could be a big difference maker. The Sharks win the draw. Here's a shot denied by the goaltender. The Oilers take it along the wall. Kara's lugging the puck. San Jose's got possession. He scores! Put the special in special team. Now the coaches have been talking about a few new wrinkles on the power play. They move the puck nicely, and the puck is in the back of the net on the power play. Power play's job is to create shots. And if you can create them from the most dangerous areas of the ice, you're going to be successful. Dead center, in the slot. He doesn't miss. Still lots of time left here in this frame. San Jose's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. McDavid's won the draw. On the power play by number 12. Nice speed at center moves up ahead now. Takes control of the puck. Sends a pass over. San Jose's got it in their own zone. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Quick pass to Pugliarvi. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. Oh, he got paddled by Dubnik. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And now it's over to Dreisaitl. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Directs it on over to Hurdle. Puck scooped up by Dreisaitl. Forces the turnover. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. And it's a quick pass to Yamamoto. Intercepts the pass. Love save made by Koskinen. Jose's won the faceoff. Passes right to the front. Here's a shot. The glove making it look easy on the play.
And with the two centers tangled up, the winger skates away with it. Looks to pass it to chase on. Quick feed to Cassian. Couldn't complete the play. Nice pass. Look out, a two-on-one. Tip shot and a big stick save by the goaltender. More than half the period left to play. 4-2 was the score. The Sharks win the faceoff. A rocker off the blocker. And we got another stoppage in play for, guess what? Yeah, another penalty being called here. The Sharks have been handed two minutes for hooking. Like every player in the history of the game, he doesn't like the call, but he's going to have to go <laughs> serve his minor penalty. Edmonton's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. There's sometimes you need to make adjustments in game. I don't think they have to. They've already scored on the power play. They'll get another one right here. Snaps it onto the net. Stopped by the goaltender. Big save by the goaltender once again. Quick reflexes. You make one, you make two stops before the puck is cleared away. He had to be on top of his game to make that stop. That's a great scoring chance, and he turns it aside. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. The Sharks get a hold of the puck in their own end. Working to shake the pressure from the defensive zone. And he's able to move the puck across the blue line and out of harm's way. No one home on that play. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. Here's a short pass to Carlson. Boston twig. He puts everything behind this. He's got it right in his wheelhouse. And then the stick just craters on him. Marlowe's back in the play after getting a new stick at the bench. Wrist shot from the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. But he came out and challenged him. Good save. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. San Jose's been the better club as they hold a 4-2 lead at this point. Puck grabbed by Dreisaitl. And now it's grabbed by Sorensen. He carries the puck up along the wing. We got a delayed penalty coming up. That trip right in front of the official's eyes. Can't get away with that. Donato's called for tripping. He's off to the box. Once he puts up his little token argument here, he's going to circle around a bit and try and regroup here as he goes to the penalty box. Were you box. a haggler? Always. You never think it's the right call. The Oilers will get a small sample size of a five-on-three. Well, that second penalty will give him a five-on-three, James. They'd like to attack early. Maybe he can get one before the longer five-on-four power play. Oh, what a slick stop by Dubnik. Wicked stop by the goalie who got his glove out to knock it away. There's the whistle stopping the play. Classic stick work has resulted in a two-minute penalty for hooking. So quickly into position, now the defensive player's got to scramble. He takes the hooking penalty. The Oilers roll out their man advantage unit, and they've got lots of time with this five-on-three. Five-on-three can really change the game. Tip it on its head by getting a couple goals on a rather lengthy power play. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. And he slides it quickly to pull Yarvi. Skates to the crease. Scores! The power play cashed in earlier. They do so again here. Really nice effort with the extra man. Teams are usually more conservative killing penalties than this. They make a mistake, now they give up the man advantage break. The power play doesn't miss on the rush. Edmonton's got one back here, yes. Ray. How big is that? Well, it does a lot, James. It changes your mindset, it changes the way you approach this, and you don't have to be reckless trying to get just one goal. 
Good defensive effort to poke it away. Nice play shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Edmonton's got control of it now from their own end. Moves it quickly over to Neal. Traps the puck away. Here's a shot. That goes off the mask. Taken along the wall by Donato. Takes a shot. Save made by the goalie. Oh, he's on it there. Both saves are really good ones. Dubnik's able to get a drink of water and shake that one off as the puck hits him right in the mask. Past the midway mark of the frame, the Oilers have answered back in these last few minutes, but still need one more to even the score. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Made that stop. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. And a nice job by the Killers on that one. Yeah, now they can get a change, get some fresh players on the ice. Edmonton's got it against the boards. Moves it to Pugliarvi. Denies him with the blocker. What a stop by Dubnik. Okay, we're going to show this because the guys in the truck are chirping in my ear about what a great glove save. Oh, actually it is. That is a great glove stop. The Oilers have had more chances offensively, but they have not been able to convert trailing here in this third. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. San Jose's, he's got a step. Denies him on the breakaway. Really good speed to get out in front. Dust the pack. Now it's him and the goalie, but the goalie's better. He makes the stop. And the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra attacker on the ice. Loses his balance on the play. There's the whistle, and a penalty is coming up on this one. Ray, it looks like boarding is the call here. When I played, that was a good hit and a, <laughs> and a vicious hit. Yeah. But that's the new penalty that's come into the game. Excessive force means a boarding penalty. And they'll roll the power play unit right back out. You never really know when the chance to tie a game will come. But now you've got a great opportunity on the power play. Puck moved back to the neutral zone. The Oilers have it against the wall. Works it across to Neal. And we've got a two-on-one. Here's a chance. He scores! And how about that to even things up here late in the game? Well, they just stayed at it. James, I don't know if there's anything particularly beautiful about the play, but it doesn't even matter. You keep plugging away and look for the tying goal. It doesn't happen very often on the power play, but they get out on an odd man rush, move the puck around well, and score on a rush. Edmonton's got a little mojo back on their step after that goal here in the third. You work and you try and keep yourself light, you keep yourself aggressive, but if nothing happens for you, it gets pretty heavy. They feel good now. San Jose's got the puck in their own end. The Sharks gain possession along the wall. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Quick pass to Shimmick. He got all of that hit. And now he tries to get it across to Nugent Hopkins. Here they are on the attack. Denied by the goaltender. Dubnik's going to hang on for a whistle here in the third. Well, there's not much time left here as you get into the final 20 minutes. The game's close. A mistake now would be critical. The hitting hasn't let up at all since the beginning of the game. All night, both teams have been on the body. More than half the period has expired. It's all tied up. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. And he denied that opportunity. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Break away! Oh, Ray, what a play! The defender comes right back and swipes this play away before it's a real dangerous chance. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Hurdles won the draw. And now he moves it quickly to Kane. Sends the pass over. Takes a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Quick pass across to Cassian. Slides the pass over to Chason. Strong defensive effort. San Jose's working the transition through the middle of the ice. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. 
can't find his man. Great chance in front. Stopped by the goaltender. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. The Sharks take possession off the face-off. Big save. Tries to feed it over to Dreisaitl. From the neutral zone now. Quick feed to Dreisaitl. Oh, what a heads-up play to poke it away. Battling for it along the boards. Grabbed along the boards by Marlow. Now over to Middleton. Play whistled dead because of an offside. Here in the late goings of the period, we got a tie game. The Sharks win the faceoff. Picked up along the boards by Vlasic. And the puck's booted away. Great defensive stick work on the play. Puck picked up by Dreisaitl. And he's able to handle that one. The Sharks will play it in their own end. Here's a short pass to Couture. Rocked him in the open ice. San Jose's got the puck against the boards. Can't. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. The arms up. There's the whistle. And boy, look at the time here for a penalty coming up. The Sharks have been called for hooking. It doesn't take very long to get on the wrong side of the play. You're a step behind. You've got to slow that guy down. You can't catch him. Maybe you can get away with a hook. Not here. Just tried to play catch up and got burned. The Oilers with another big opportunity on the power play. What an opportunity for them here. Their power play has been excellent tonight. And at an important juncture in the game, they'll get another chance. Trying to clear. And a penalty is coming up as the play is whistled dead here. And they'll be down a man. Puck going over the glass. Big no-no nowadays. It is such a bad feeling for these players. They oh. see the puck airmailed over the glass. There's nowhere to hide. They'll have a lot of time to work with this five on three. They have to be happy with their power play tonight. They've been successful. And now at an important time in the game, they have another chance. Picked up along the wall by McDavid. Right in front. Turns it away. Yeah, it's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. There's another stop. No time to take a breath. He made that first stop, and then the puck turns around on him again. Here in the late going of the frame, we are all tied up in this one. And with the two tied up off the faceoff, a great read to grab possession of the puck. The Oilers have it behind the cage. Scooped up along the wall by Turris. We got a delayed penalty coming up here as the ref's hand goes up in the air. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. And the play is whistled dead. Let's see what the call is coming up. Burns is going to serve a pair in the box for holding. Player's got a little bit of a beef here, but when you reach out with your arm, that signals to the official to keep a closer look. It's a penalty no matter how you shine it these days. Edmonton's ready to go to work with a two-man advantage. A key to any power play, if it's going to be successful, is that you can change the way that you attack. They've done that tonight, and as a result, they have a really good percentage. I like their chances in this critical moment. Edmonton's got the puck in the defensive end. Coughs it up on the play. Moves it quickly over to Nugent Hopkins. Dubnik's going to cover it up. He's been busy tonight, Ray. And been good. A lot of times you get busy and worn down. I think that's why you jump on it, freeze it in a close game. Play set to resume with the faceoff ready to go. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. And they manage to clear it. Less than a minute to go now here in regulation. From the right side, they gain the zone. Hangs onto the puck. Oh, looked like he had the corner, but he puts it off the side of the net with the steal. Here's a clearing attempt from their own end. And that's a big clear on that play. Now, coaches are always telling us about details. There's one of them. Get the puck out late in a game. Manages to hang on. One-time shot. He scores! 
pretty obvious, James. You play from in front, you've got the advantage of the game. That goal gives them the lead. He's probably got about two seconds from the time that puck's delivered to find it. He can't see it, so he drops into the butterfly and hopes it hits him. Edmonton's coaches look pretty active on the bench there, Ray. What are you hearing? Well, they're happy that they've got the lead, but they want to make sure that nobody sits back to defend. The Oilers win it at center ice now. He grabs the puck. Bears got it against the boards. The Sharks get a hold of the puck in their own end. Looks to make a play over to Meyer. San Jose's emptied the net. The extra attackers now out on the ice. Edmund got it in their own zone. Oh, fires it down the ice and comes up empty. Slides it diagonally to LeBanc. Feeds the puck to Carlson. And this one is all over as the final horn sounds. They break the deadlock here and now take a 3-2 series lead with a chance to close things out. Man, this felt like a pressure-filled game. Tied it two in the series. Now just one win away from putting this away. Crazy how there's all these elements to a win now. Victory songs, celebrations, and a salute. Yeah, it's way better than losing <laughs> big time for Ray Ferraro my name is James Sabalski thanks so much for hanging out with us in short playoff hockey I love it